Good morning. It's early Saturday. I even have the lights on in my room. Um, I thought I would do something a little different just to, let's not get into it. Anyway, so what's going to happen, I think for the next couple of weeks or for a while, um, I found this interesting tag called Switch Out Saturdays and I'm trying to get more use out of my items, not just my purses. So the, the tag is really about switching out of your bag, but I have a, an abundant sufficiency, <laughs> so I'll describe it, of items that um, I'm almost at the point of hoarding. I have a lot of nail polish, which you will see probably a, a compilation vlog about me doing some commentary on that abundant sufficiency of cosmetics, fragrances. You've seen the fragrance counter. It's massive. Um, and I, I need to be better about switching out and using these things. And I'm thinking that if I do this weekly, it's my goal. If I do this weekly, force myself to change out of my bag. So I will get more usage out of my handbags more, you know, turnover, so to speak, decide what should stay or go, um, force myself into using things rather than just the same things over and over again, get more use out of the nail polish just sitting there. And some of them, it's like, they're starting to separate as how long they've been sitting and they're not even that old. They're like only like a year, year and a half old. And some of them I haven't even opened yet. So, you know, where am I nail polish? grab some fragrances, swap them out, make a conscious effort to utilize them. And it might be seasonal. It might be themed based on um, whatever's going on in the world or holidays. This theme this week based on pastels and colors and all the things that Easter brings. So I'm going to find a bag and we will talk through everything else we're going to be doing. So see you on the other side. Ladies. What's going on? You ran over there. What, what were you doing to Dolly? Hmm? Was she harassing you? She was. <laughs> she was not being nice to you. That's not good. You got to be best friends, right? Isn't that the plan? You're supposed to have best friends that are pugs? Pickles. I don't know. There's something about the two of you. You're acting funky. Don't know if I can trust you. See, even Bamboo's come in to figure out what's going on. Are they behaving, Bubba? Hmm? No, they're not. They're not behaving. Oh my goodness, I gotta, I gotta get all the pug litter off of that. Good Lord. Okay, my friends. So I've been carrying Miss Burrow here for a, a while, probably since the last time you saw me change out my bag. And I've got it full of crap, see? Um, <laughs> the giant Petco receipt from the groomer. Um, so this has been, you know, dark end of winter vibes and have enjoyed carrying her. I'm, I'm, my newfound love um, has been renewed for the Burrow bag. Let me grab my other one really quick so you can see that one so i have another one it's slightly bigger so um this is the medium size and it's not the style that is the turn lock and i'm sorry i have, I have pug glitter all over me but um so it's slightly bigger let me move this down let me get some some lighting since it's still a little bit dark. Um, so this is my tricolor. I believe it's the medium size. I believe there's one size larger that's about three or so size, uh, three or so, so inches bigger um, and a little bit taller and much more squishy. This is a very stiff, um, smooth leather and this is the pebbled leather so there is a version that Sarah Jessica Parker had that I saw children 
um, th this very squishy version of this in the giant size. And that's what I am in love with. What's different about this one is that there is a center compartment that's a zipper in addition to the outer ones. They also have this kind of um, leather pulls on them. So let me close that up. So each, each compartment has these leather pulls and then um, this is just like an embossed foil where this is metal. Um, no turn lock here closure. So this is a newer version than this one. I forget how old this one is, but um, I still love it though. It's, it's a great bag. So I don't carry this one as much as I would like, and I think I will do it more as we get closer to summer. There's a lot of corner wear on this one, unfortunately. Um, just the nature of it. It's, it was the first one I got, then I got this one. And pretty much once I got this one, I stopped using this one because um, the black was just more um, durable and for work. So I just carry this one on occasion. But she's still up there. She's still gorgeous. I love her. You'll see her hanging up on my wall in the background of my videos. But um, so we're going to get out of the burrow. Make sure I didn't put anything in the pockets. Got several key pouches. I'm trying to get better about not leaving junk in my purses because I have been doing that way too much lately. If you saw, I think it was my Lux video. Um, that's in there. Um, the anti-quiet luxury one. And I talked about, I was going through a purse I hadn't grabbed in like a year and inside it was an SLG I'd been looking for for months. So I'm trying to be better about emptying these out making sure nothing's in them. Okay, this one is empty. I will lock her up and she will go back on the contemporary rack and enjoy her time away. So I'm staying contemporary. Oh my God, me and the junk. Um, I'm going to probably stay with the same coin purse though. I don't think I'm gonna change that out. So we'll, we'll keep the same coin purse. We'll probably keep the same card holder. Let's put this cash in here. Which reminds me I'm gonna go grab some more cash. So card holder, this is one of the keys, car keys, this is the other, my main car, backup car, and then um, lip glow. I'm gonna switch this one out because this doesn't go with the bag I have picked out. So this is going back here. So. right now. Back up there. Put that back up there. Don't need those right now. So I need a catch all. And then we're going to switch into um, Marc Jacobs, the mini tote. Put this away. I 
Oh my God, here I am, here, you can look at my life. I put this away with literally. This is me. I am horrible. Do not follow my, my, um, I even have a mega bucks ticket in here. sample I got during um, an eyebrow appointment. So a whole bunch of loose coin down there. Not good. So do as I say and not as I do. <laughs> Alright. Let's step this into the pocket though. Alright. So now we're nice and clean. Let's find something that will slot in though nicely. Let me fit this time. No, you are way too too big. That's too summery. What I want to use is full of stuff right now. Oh, Lord, I need to get better at this. We're going to go with this. Oh, I'm missing a couple of pouches. They're probably in other bags. All right, so into here we go. We're gonna take catch-all, card case, main card keys, backup card key, coin. The phone will just fit wherever in there. I really need something to carry those pens in though, because I like to have pens. I swear I had gotten a good pen holder not too long ago, but Dee Dee sent me this. I will use it for a couple of them. And then the other ones I will put up here. All right, let's put strap. You guys, calm down. All right, tote bag is packed. So, as we get on to the other The other commentary was picking out a nail polish. So we have a whole bunch of Holo Taco and I already have these open. I have not opened Serial Killer and I think it's way too close to these shades that I think I want to keep it closed. So So maybe I'll do like three nail or four nails, this one, and then maybe this nail, this one, and then this on a couple of them, or we'll see. I'll come back when I'm done painting away to decide. Next, let me... 
so as I mentioned, I have an abundant sufficiency of fragrances and I'm not using them as much as I should. So I decided to buy this little tray here and, and there's even more fragrances and samples and samples are in that bag and there's just more samples and more samples. Um, yeah, so this tray, I'm going to use it as like my selection and force myself to grab a selection of things and focus on those items. I'm thinking sweet, fruity, which is really the majority of my collection, but even so. Um, sweet, fruity, fun. Let's do Vanilla Sky because that's very sweet. Um, vanilla Vibes is beachy, so we're not going to go there. Um, vanilla Paradise is like very grapefruit. That's tempting. Let's see what else. Mickey is fruity. And let's see, I've got some Tom Ford up here. The Dior's are over there. Maybe. That vanilla is basically like you're wearing vanilla syrup. It's incredibly sweet. It's nice. These are all Kayali, very sweet as well. Orchid vanilla, I didn't wear that not too long ago. That's Orchid vanilla is very nice, but it is um, a little spicy. So it's it's a good all year round, but I like to wear that one when I'm wearing um, Emerald Rain, that kind of thing, because they're they're just like fall pumpkin spice latte vibes. Um, that one, Shoved at War, very rose, very spring. I think that's later. These are very floral. The Gucci's very floral. All of the Dictiques are floral. I think all the Byredos are too back there. If I remember correctly. Have to look at those. Um, I think we'll do Kayali. 28. So vanilla, grapefruit, vanilla sky, this one's candy, and then maybe, if I remember correctly, this is Whispers of Admiration. Let me double check. Yep. Whispers of Admiration which I believe is just continued. But. So this will be the fragrance assortment. A couple of House Visage, Atea Cologne, Kayali, and Skylar. And we will see how much progress I make. Okay, back over with the update of what has been done. So I used um, let me do it like this. On this hand, I ended up doing most of the hand in Party of One Purple. Yeah, Party of One Purple. And then this finger is Lavender. Will it focus? There's Lavender. And then on this pointer finger, I ended up putting this topper which is Twilight Shimmer. And then on this hand, I did the opposite. So all the main hand is um, Lavender. And then we've got Party of One Purple here. And then the unicorn skin is on this one. So that is the manicure for this week. I think it matches perfectly. <laughs> Not really perfectly. I, if I had a more periwinkle-y kind of color for this, but I think the this one for sure matches perfectly. Um, 
maybe I do have a periwinkle. No, I don't. I don't. All of my purples tend to be more, um, almost red toned, except for these pastel ones. So, um, she just released a periwinkle one and uh, I don't need any more nail polish. I'm not going to, I'm not buying any more nail polish. No, not doing it. Close enough. It's close enough. It doesn't have to be matchy. <laughs> I will keep telling myself that. doesn't have to be matchy-matchy. It's good enough. Right? It's good enough. Tell me that in the comments. Talk me, talk me down. Otherwise, I'll place another order. I swear I have an orchidy purple color somewhere. Maybe I have another collection that I'm forgetting to unbox. This is what happens when you have too much of everything. So... Thanks for hanging out with me, you know, sharing part of my life, sharing part of the crazy. So, <laughs> thanks for everything. Take care. Bye. Are you not being, you're so happy. We had the dinners. It was, I, no, not again, not again. We had them. We had them. Now we're happy. Now I'm going to clean up all this dog hair. Because I love you. I love my little puggies. You're so beautiful. You're my best little girls. Mm -hmm.